So what we're going to look at now is something called uh, polytopes. And polytopes are essentially higher dimensional polygons. So we're mainly going to be using polygons, but uh, we need to think of them as in as many uh, dimensions as possible. And the, the definition of, uh, one of the definitions of a, a polytope is as, as such. Um, and I'll, I'll explain some of these things as, as we go. So, so given a set of uh, vectors v, we take the sum up until the size of v of uh, lambda i vi, where vi are the elements of, of v, and this is going to be an element in the vector space r uh, k, where the vi is a vector of dimension k. And we have this extra requirement that the things we are summing the coefficients that we're summing over have to sum uh, to one, and they all have to be positive. And then, as I said, this v must be in the big set v. Okay, so that's the the main definition, but um, it's not necessarily as as complicated as it might seem. Uh, what we have is a set v. So this is the same set v as here. And, and here, where these vi's are little elements of it. Um, that should be a, a vi there. And so as an example, we could have um, the vector 0, 0, the vector a half 0, the vector a half a quarter, the vector 0, a third. And so this is a, a subset of r to the 2, so this 2 is what our k is, okay? And if we have that, we can take any set of lambda, any any lambda that is going to be, um, going to have size, the same size as the size of v. So for example, we could have lambda equals a quarter, zero, a half, a, a fourth, and we're okay because the sum of the lambdas is equal to 1, as, as we need here, and they're all positive. Okay, so once we've got that lambda, we can create a, a v, which is essentially going to be a quarter times 0, 0. And so what I'm doing here is, is just this part, right? So it's a quarter times 0, 0, plus 0 times a half, 0, plus a half times a half a quarter plus a quarter times zero a third and that is equal to a quarter and whatever an eighth plus a twelfth is okay and so that element v is an element of our polytope so this element v lives in our, our polytope uh, p and so all elements for all possible lambdas that are this uh, sum over weighted sum over elements of big V are inside our, our our polytope. And what our polytope will will look like is uh, we need to place our our elements of, of V these these vertices. We've got zero zero. We've got a half zero. Um, and then, so if that's a half, this is a half, that's a third. So zero, a third will be here, right? And then we've got the, the final point of um, a half, a quarter, which will be somewhere around here. Okay, and uh, the definition of our, of our shape, um, of our polytope is actually that it's all these points in this polygon here. So it's the points on the boundary, but also all sets of points inside the boundary. So for example, this particular point here will be somewhere here, okay? And so once we have our set of uh, vertices, these are just these points, and then essentially we just have all the things that are inside um, inside the, the, the shape made by those vertices. And now that's one definition of a polytope, and as we'll see um, in, in a little bit, there's another definition which uh, 
is when we do not actually have the vertices, but we have another way of defining our space. And so uh, the, these two definitions are actually equivalent, which is what we're going to see.